Hi, I'm Brick Gibson, Technical Training. Today's video, we're going to explain the importance of communication when performing lifting tasks. Before any lifting task is performed, a decision needs to be made on the correct form of communication between the dogman and the operator. So there's four types of standard communications. We have two-way radio, verbal signals, hand signals, and whistle commands. Depending on the situation you're in and the job site, what form of communication you choose. All communication needs to be clear and effective and understood by both parties. If you've chosen to use two-way communication, the communication should be between the operator and the dogman only. The verbal signals should be clear so the operator can understand. If you choose hand signals, these hand signals should be to a standard format. When using whistle commands, standard whistle calls should be used. So we're now going to go through the hand signals. The most important hand signal we can give is stop. The verbal command for stop is simply stop. The whistle command is one short blast on the whistle. So our first command is going to be hook up. So we're just using the winch rope at this stage. The verbal signal for hook up is simply hook up. And the whistle signal is two short whistles. And I'll get him now to um, hook that back, winch that back down again. The verbal signal for hook down is simply hook down. The whistle signal is one long whistle. So the signal for boom up is hand out with the thumb pointing upward. As you can see, he's not using the winch, he's just using the boom in the upward direction. The verbal command for boom up is simply boom up, and the whistle command is three short whistles. To now bring that load back down by just using the boom, arm out, we point our thumb towards the ground. Again, not using the winch, just using the top boom. The verbal command for boom down is simply boom down, and the whistle command is four short whistles. And now, if I want him to push the boom towards myself as the dogman, I would point my thumb to my chest. The verbal command to extend the boom is simply extend boom. The whistle command is one long, three short whistles. To retract that boom, I do the opposite. I point the thumb away from my chest while facing the operator. The verbal command to retract the boom is simply retract boom. The whistle command, one long, four short whistles. So my next two signals are the slew signals. Um, these are done while facing the operator and you want to put your hand out in the direction you want the boom to move. The verbal command to slew right is simply slew right. The whistle command is one long, two short whistles. The verbal command to slew left is simply slew left. The whistle command is one long, one short. So to recap on what we've covered, it's essential prior to any lifting task that the communication that the dogman and the operator are using is clear and effective. It's also essential that a decision is made prior to a lifting task as to what method of communication we're going to use. It is mandatory that only dogmen control crane operations. For any more information, contact technical training.